Hey guys, welcome to this Linux course. So this would be the last session of this particular module. So in this session, we'll be learning how to copy, move, rename and delete files and also do the same things for directories. So we'll be looking at those commands first and then we'll be doing a hands-on, basically we'll be executing them. So first let's start off with copying. So I've already showed you copying and move in the first module, but still we'll look at them again. First copy, copying files, the command is cp cp then source then destination or cp source to directory so these are different ways of copying and cp source one source to source n so you, you can give a number of files and copy them to another directory so now let's execute these copy commands mm, let me open it okay so first uh, let me create few files file what can i name them demo one.txt demo or I'll just give demo one, demo two, demo three. So I think I've created three files. Yeah, I've created. Now I will do a nano of demo one. I'll put hello. And I've saved it. Next demo two. Mm, so I've typed in something. And demo three. Same thing. I'm typing some other sentence. And I've saved them. So all of these files are saved right now. So first let us do a copy within the directory that is copy demo one to demo four. So now do an ls. Now you can see there is a demo four file also. Before it was not existing, now there is a demo four file. And if I do a cat of demo four, you can see the uh, text same as demo one. So next copy demo two inside desktop. Let's move it inside desktop. So I've copied it. Right now you can see demo2 will be available here as well as desktop. So you can see demo2 over here as well. Coming back, next we'll copy multiple files into another folder, another directory. That is first demo1, demo2, demo3 and demo4. We'll move these three files inside downloads. Sorry. So done. So right now these files will be available here as well, available in downloads as well. So you can see these files are available over here. So we've done copy. Next we'll do the move command. So again, move has the same functionalities. So you can see that over here, it has the same functionalities, the different command, but the same syntax. So now let us move a file within the same directory. That is demo one. I'm going to move demo one to demo five. So now there will not be a file named demo one anywhere here. There will be only a file named demo file because I moved the contents of demo one as well as the file itself to another file named as demo five. Next, I'll move demo five into another, I'll move to desktop. So now you can see demo five is not available here, but if I open desktop, I should find the file over here because desktop is over here. Next, I will do one more thing coming back. Uh, we'll move multiple files. So demo three, demo four. I'll move these two files into uh, documents. Uh, too many arguments. Sorry, I've provided the wrong command. I provided the wrong command. It is move and done. So right now, demo three and demo four will not be here. But if I go into documents, they'll be available and you can see them over here. So this is how you use uh, move and copy. Now going back, now renaming a file. To rename again, it is the same command as move. So let's see rename once again. So let's say I've created a file named, so no, no, I'm not going to create another file. So let's say I have one.txt. So I want to make this as uh, the word that is one .txt, one.txt. So I'm going to use move command one.txt to one.txt. So now you can see there is a file named one.txt, but there is no file named one.txt because I renamed it. But here the process is not actually renaming the file. It's actually moving the file, but you will have to use the move command to rename the file as well. And we've seen rename as well, now deleting. So now to delete, it's uh, pretty simple. First rm, rm is the command remove, remove and file name, then remove and i, Remove and star.txt. So, what this does is it will delete all the .txt files, then remove source one, source two. You can also remove by providing different file names. Now, we'll try all this. So, first, here you can see remove demo two. I'll remove demo two. Demo two is removed. Then, I'll go inside documents. And here, there are different types of files. So, I will remove them by typing in demo three, demo four, and two.txt. 
and now i have removed these as well now here let me go inside desktop sorry and there are two files over here so i think i can delete them using this uh rm star no you know do that i think i can do this remove power and demo so it's not considering it so let's leave that okay so now let's remove these files normally first demo 2 and demo 5 no, it's not there so now what i wanted to do is so let's see there is demo.txt as well as file1.txt as well as 1.txt so i want to remove all the text files in a single go for that what i can do is remove star.txt and so this will basically remove all the dot txt and file so i have removed all those files so we have uh, seen how to delete files as well and now common commands make directory we've done this remove directory and then find searches a file or a directory so let's use find find one dot sh so it is showing that it is existing so if i search for one dot txt it will not exist so let's say find um, so first let me open this Think nothing will be here so there is demo one uh, let me search for demo one but it will not find because it's not available here but find demo one i think if i provide documents sorry if i provide downloads again sorry so it's finding downloads and it also shows the files under downloads so this is one command which is really useful it will show the directory as well as the sub files and sub directories of that directory and then there is pwd which we have done already then file shows the type of the file so going ahead so file downloads so it shows it's a directory now file first let me see uh, yeah uh, one dot sh so file one dot sh it's a shell script now let me create a text file and file one dot txt so it's an empty file because i have not entered anything and so that's what it means so here you can see it's born again shell script and this is a directory this is an empty file so that's how you use file so guys we've completed the uh completed module two so meet you in the next module thank you for attending this particular module